Hey there, this is Felix from Gold and My Vintage Watches and in today's video we want to talk about Etienne Medic Watches. We want to talk about what is so special on their movements, why does Eterna uh, choose the five ball logo for its dials and what does ETA, one of the world's largest movement manufacturers, have to do with Eterna. So let's check the intro and get into today's video. When we started our watch business, we had a surprising and immediate connection with the brand Eterna. And in our opinion, the brand is another one of those vintage watch brands like Movado and Zenith that is still massively undervalued in the today's market. Especially if you consider the importance of Eterna for the watch history and for today's watch industry. From its early days, the company was known for innovation and movement development. They becoming the first to serially produce an alarm wrist watch and in 1948 patenting the ball bearing mounted winding rotor which gave birth to the name Eterna Medic and the company's logo consisting of five ball bearings as you can see on our dial. In the 1930s Eterna splits its brand in two different companies. ETA for the production of movements and Eterna dedicated for the production of watches. And this is no big secret, as the name ETA is Eterna minus the three middle letters ERN. Over the years, ETA became one of the largest movement manufacturers in the world and is nowadays owned by the Swatch Group. ETA supplies almost everyone, from IWC, Rolex, Elogine through to Omega with raw unfinished movement blanks that can then be processed and refined as required. As already mentioned, you can read under the five ball logo the name Eternamatic. The Eternamatic movement was not just an important invention in the company's history, but also represents a groundbreaking step in the evolution of the entire watch industry. But what was so groundbreaking and special to these movements? The whole story of automatic movements begins even earlier but we want to hold it short and simple and understandable. So let's start in 1920 when John Howard, the watchmaker from England, had the idea to use a pivoting weight which swung as the wearer moved to wind the mainspring of a wristwatch. So imagine this paper is a movement with the view on the case back. This triangle is a pivoting weight and it's not rotating 360 degrees, it only rotates 270 degrees, limited by the spring bumpers. And here you can see the rotor colored in red on the movement of a Gigle Le Coultre Memo Vox. For this reason, the early type of self-winding mechanism is often referred to as a bumper. You can also hear the bumps if you shake the watch and you can also feel the bumps while wearing this movement. Other watchmakers worked on improving the design of Harwood. Among them, Rolex developed a new system called Perpetual, as you can see it on this day-date movement, also colored in red. And this system was based on a rotor which could um, turn 360 degrees and so it can capture more energy with every turn. By the way, the front view is also great. Okay. But the accuracy and the reliability over the time of these movements were still affected by the wear and tear due to the friction between components. So Eterna found a solution that proved to be ideal by introducing a ball bearing mounted rotor in 1948. Five miniature ball bearings with a diameter of only 0.65 mm each provided the necessary support and balance to the rotor, significantly reducing bearing friction and making the watch operate smoothly and reliable even under extreme conditions, for example, when the watch was dropped on the ground. From now on, all the automatic watches produced by Eterna were marked under the name Eterna Matic. The five tiny balls brought the worldwide fame and success to the brand and were chosen as a new logo of the Swiss manufacturer. The Eterna technology took watchmaking to new levels, soon becoming the new standard for all automatic wristwatches in the world. It still remains in use today. So enough 
Fairy lessons for today. Now we want to share feelings and thoughts about our today's piece, an Eterna Medic Centenaire from 1961. As you well know by now, we have a passion for classic timepieces. This Eterna is very modest and reduced to minimum without any bling bling. It is truly about representing the essentials only with no added distractions and fits exactly our taste. This classy dress watch was born in 1961 and comes in 34mm 18k yellow gold case. So just look at the clear uncomplicated white dial and take your time to enjoy all details. Start your visual journey at the small and subtle eternomatic wording crowned by the simple and discreet five ball bearing logo. It commands a place at the top of the dial, leaving no doubts as to the accuracy of the timepiece, while the celebratory centenaire is lower and illegently written in a larger font, which adds sophistication and class to the overall package. In 1956, Eterna launched the uh, centenaire to celebrate their 100 years anniversary. The arrowhead hour markers pointing inwards with sharp triangular contours catching the light from different angles and the 3, 6, 9 and 12 markers have a beautiful unusual shield form which lock in the cardinal points of the face. The markers are subdivided by small minute dots and the slim dolphin shaped hands are elegant but not too thin adding the functional look of the watch. To round off the high quality look, you can also find the five ball logo on the original crown and on the original clasp. Inside the case body beats an Eterna Medic Caliber 1429U. We are absolutely fascinated by the thin case and how such a reduced size automatic movement could be so accurate. Despite its small size and thickness, it has an extraordinary and classy presence on the wrist. All in all, the Tenomatic was known to many as the absolutely best watch for outdoor adventures and the watch model had an era of 50 years as the first watch produced from 1948 and the last produced in 1998. Unfortunately, that is all for today. We hope you learned something new about Tenomatic watches and as always, we would be very thankful if you hit the like button, subscribe our channel or write a comment to support us. And yeah, have a great day and hope to see you in our next video.